وی من نخشم وی کم ضای ناتاق بچوان قد گاشو خیلی بايل قطع وی وی من نخشم وی کم ضای ناتاق بچوان قد گاشو خیلی بايل قطع این وایل وی جاری So why is Allah saying to him the following ayah? Stay away, ya Muhammad, from idols. You're supposed to be a follower of Jesus, and you use the words like that. Well, and it's not my words. I, I, it's not my words. It's the words of Allah. Are you embarrassed of Allah? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment that you all have been waiting for. For, 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 for. It's time! You're listening to the live broadcast of your friend in Hebrew, Stream Doctor and Christian Polemicist. Polemicist, Polemicist, Polemicist. Do I for Christ, an enemy of Allah and His messenger. Messenger, 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 messenger. This is your favorite YouTuber. Now, speaking from Cave, Hira, 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 Hira. Rob! Christian, 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 Christian. Please, faster seatbelts, because we are back, baby. We are live, baby. Let's go. All right, all right, all right. Welcome, everybody. God bless you. Nice to see you. God bless all of you. I hope everybody is doing okay. I hope you're whole and well. God bless you. Nice to see you guys. <clears throat> I chose to go live today uh, because simply I have a window. So I was like, let me go live. When I can, you know, guys, when I can, I will go live if I can. Uh, the kids are not at home, so so it's a good opportunity to be together, guys, on this blessed day. Uh, it's always a blessing to have you here, guys, my dear brothers and sisters in Christianity, friends, family, admins, all of you. Brother Winston, what's up? 
Brother Phil Horea, Tiger, Tiger Uppercut. <clears throat> nice to see you. God bless you. Sister Carolina. Hey, sister, how are you? Long time no see. I hope you're doing great. Uh, is that Adam Seeker? No way. Is that the real Adam Seeker? Is that the real uh, original Kafir himself? Adam Seeker, is that you, brother? Or is that a wa wannabe? <clears throat> Protestant believer, what's up? Adam Seeker, if it's you, brother, I hope you're doing great. Hey, brother Ed, Eddie, and <clears throat> the rest. How are you, brother Ed? What's up, brother? God bless you. Jimmy Dean, what's up? All of you guys in the chat, what's up? What's up? God bless you. Nice to see you here. How are you, Eddie? Uh, Sister Ewa, Ewa. Yeah, Allah has an alter ego in the shape of Muhammad. Actually, Allah and Muhammad are the same guy. But hey, don't tell all the Muslims, okay? Don't tell them. Keep it a secret, bro. Keep it a secret. <clears throat> uh, not sure if there are more admins. Oh, you're Adam's fan. Okay, okay, okay. You're confusing everybody, brother. You need to not, you know, use the same name because it's confusing. But anyway, welcome. God bless you. Thank you for being here, brother. <coughs> Sheikh Kafir, uh, Walter Ray, all of you guys. God bless you. Nice to see you. Sister Dragon the Nearest, what's up? All right, uh, Sister Dragon the Nearest, we're going to take care of the timestamps. Brother Phil will take care of the links and sources after the live show, guys. You'll have access to the timestamps and um, all the books that we are going to use. <clears throat> please do not be my fan, brother Adrian. <clears throat> do not be my fan, please. I'm a nobody. Like all of you, we are all sinners. Please do not be my fan. And do not put me on a pedestal, okay, guys? All of us make mistakes. We are all sinners. We all need forgiveness. You should be only fan of Jesus Christ because we are Christians we are followers of Jesus Christ that's the definition of a Christian of course we are Tom too brother Adam Seeker is a dear brother of course I have no issue with anybody you know I'm you know lately I've been flying solo all the time because I'm simply too too busy I hope I have more time to do some collaborations in the future because brother Sam Shamon has requested me to join his life. I know that Christian Prince always tells me to be welcome on his live stream. But yes, that's brother Christian Prince. I used to do many live streams together with him in the past. But <clears throat> things, you know, changed and, you know, very busy life. Brother Adam Seeker, uh, many, many awesome brothers and sisters out there. Brother Ahmed X Muslim. So many beautiful uh, warriors out there. But we'll see what will happen in the future, guys. <clears throat> so no, I have no issue with anybody. Exactly, Mikhem. Do, do not, God forbid, do not turn anybody in an idol. Please, do not put us on a pedestal. I've seen I've see a lot of people, you know, it's good to have respect for someone and it's good to uh, support someone. But please, brothers and sisters, do not put anyone on on a pedestal. In the end, we're all humans, right? Even if we have enough knowledge, if we have gathered enough knowledge about things and whatnot, about this cult, for example, or, you know, some brothers are very skilled in Christianity, you know, uh, as a Christian apologist, but please do not put anyone on a pedestal. Be warned, okay? Yeah, who doesn't cook central uh, Protestant believer? Literally, circle dawa a.k.a. Central Dawa, Shirk Dawa, is cooked by everyone. Circle Dawa, a couple weeks ago, he became a an apostate. He became an apostate at my hands. Okay. He said, I'm going to leave Islam if you can show me an authentic hadith uh, from uh, Muhammad bin Ishaq. And I showed him that hadith. And the guy's a liar. He's a, he's a fraud. Everybody uh, buries him. He's nobody. He's a clown, exactly, Jimmy. Guys, uh, pray for my admins, my dear, dear brothers and sisters in the blue, but also the admins and mods on our new Discord server. Right, guys? The taste topic is who is Allah? Who is Allah? 
and I also want to talk about where is Allah and I'm also going to talk about uh, Farida because he tried to uh, refute brother God logic someone sent me a message please Rob do something about it talk about it can you talk about it sure no problem we'll see if we have time so I'm going to bury Farida again it has been way too long for me to spank him again you guys for the people who do not know I have a huge playlist on my YouTube channel if you click on my YouTube channel you go back to the main channel click on the playlist and there's literally a playlist called the end of Farid okay I have more than I think 30 or 40 videos maybe around 50 videos about this guy <coughs> okay so make sure to join our new discord server guys we a couple weeks ago we introduced we created a new discord server make sure to join join our new discord server it's literally in the description box under this video. But let me pin it up anyway, you know. People are sometimes lazy. Let me pin up the link to how to join our Discord. Okay, here is the link. Beautiful. Let me pin it up. Okay. People can uh, come up and only when I say people only, the Muslims can come up for a discussion or debate. Okay, guys? But first, <clears throat> first let us pray. You know, guys, I never start a live stream without praying. For the people who do not know, I have my account back. My TikTok account is unbanned. It's unbanannered. <laughs> I had a weak uh, banana. <clears throat> bananaed. Yeah. A week. Yeah, imagine, because Muslims falsely flagged the... Live stream on TikTok. And we love TikTok. Yeah, right? We love the TikTok shop. <laughs> we love the TikTok shop. Please, TikTok. We love the TikTok shop. Stop ban bannering me. <laughs> I'm a researcher, man. And I'm only reading. Why am I getting bananaed all the time on TikTok? I'm a researcher. Unbelievable. So guys, join our new Discord server. You're going to have a lot of fun on Discord. Please join our Discord server. And if it's not so much, ask guys if if you can, while you can, you can boost up the server. That would be awesome. All right. Let us pray first, guys. Let us pray. Let us ask for forgiveness and blessing. Let us pray. Bismil ab wal ibn wa al qudus ilahun wahad amin. That's in the Arabic. And in the Aramaic we say, Pshemabu Wabru Ruhu Kalisho, Had Allahu Shariro Amin. And last but not least, in English we say, In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, three persons, three aknuma, three aqanim, three persons, one God whom we worship, we pray. So let us pray. Lord, thank you for allowing us to gather today on this very live stream on TikTok, on Discord and on YouTube simultaneously to talk about the truth, Al-Haq, nothing but the truth, with our wonderful team of admins and our amazing, amazing audience and subscribers. Yes, Lord. O oh, King of Kings. O oh, Lord of Lords. O oh, Jesus Christ. Ya Yesu' al-Masih. Bless this live stream, the internet connection, and everybody who's here listening and watching. Also, keep our loved ones, our families, and children safe. Bless them and protect them, Father. Yes, Lord Jesus Christ, I pray to you and ask you to cleanse all of us with your holy blood. And please fill us with your Holy Spirit. O risen Lord, have mercy on us. We are sinners. Lord, we need you. Purify us and please guide this very live session lord shine your holy light on all of us including the muslims our muslim friends our brothers and sisters in humanity whom we love the muslims maybe they are in need oh lord and that's why maybe they are on our discord server or they are watching on youtube or on tiktok oh lord maybe they are here for the truth to listen to the other side not only to their imams and mashayikh please lord we love them they are our brothers and sisters in humanity Please open their eyes. We have hope for the truth-seeking Muslims out there. 
Yes, yes, Lord Jesus Christ, draw these Muslims to your feet so they might know you, the real you, not the fake Isa, the real Yesu al-Masih, as we call you in Arabic, because we have no idea who Isa is, O oh Lord. We have never heard of Isa until Islam came with the sword. So everything we do is for your glory, O Son of God, O Holy Son of God. You are the Father's heart, you are the love of the Spirit. Christ, fill me with your Holy Spirit, bless my throat and loosen my tongue today and guide me so I can speak the truth, nothing but the truth, without any error or any shame. And Lord, give us wisdom and courage to do whatever needs to be done in your holy name, your name above all names. Ya Yesu al-Masih, O beloved risen Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Welcome, everybody. Speaking from Cave Hira, 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 Hira. We are live, 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 live. Yes, you heard it correctly, guys. We are live. It's not a recording. We are live on TikTok, on Discord, and on YouTube simultaneously at the same time. Three platforms. Glory to Christ. And Lord willing, maybe the platforms will grow in the future. Depends on if the Lord wills it. I hope everybody's ready because I'm ready, baby. Again, guys, join our new Discord server. If you're not there yet, join our new Discord server. It's not that hard to create an account on discord.gg or discord.com. Create an account and join us uh, via the link, okay? The link that is pinned up or the link here on the screen. Or you can find it also among the other social media accounts that I have in the description box. Guys, uh, for some reason, I don't know why, but people always ask unnecessary questions. They ask me uh, for more information and I keep telling them to go check out the description box. The descri description box is there for your information, okay? I don't understand why people always do that. Why are people so lazy to not always first to check the description box? Please, guys. I don't want to answer everyone about where you can find info. Okay? Please, stop doing that. There is something called the description box on YouTube. Okay. All right. First, regarding to the topic of today, it's Allah. It's all about Allah. Allah is on the picture. Allah is on the screen. Who is Allah? First, let us ask the question, where is Allah? Before we move to who is Allah. Muslims are all over the place. They are all over the place. And they cannot seem to agree where Allah is. Uh, admins, please do not bring anyone up yet. I want to play this video clip. And you'll see how Muslims will even call each other kuffar when it comes to where Allah is. Because uh, some Muslims, I'm talking about Sunni Muslims, for example, some Muslims will tell you, some sects within Islam, some uh, Sunni Muslims will follow a different doctrine, aqidah. Some of them will say, you know, Allah is above his throne. Some Muslims will say Allah sits on his throne. Some Muslims will say Allah is limited to his throne. Some Muslims will tell you Allah does enter his creation, but be like cave. No question asked. Be like cave. Kafiya, right? We don't know how. How Allah enters creation. Okay? Some Muslims will tell you, no, no, Allah is everywhere. Other Muslims will tell you Allah is nowhere. Allah is without a place. It's crazy. And they even call each other. Like I told you guys, this is very important. Take notes. They will call each other kuffar. They will uh, call each other non-Muslims. And even when you call another Muslim non-Muslim, his blood becomes halal. You are allowed to unalive him. Okay. So this is crazy, man. They say Islam is a very easy religion, but they don't know where Allah is. They, can, they don't seem to agree where Allah is. And they even call each other kuffar. Yet they dare to question the Trinity and they will use philosophy and all kind of uh, ancient philosophical tactics, ancient Greek uh, philosophy and logic to understand uh, who or what the Holy Trinity is, right? Yet they are not even allowed to use 
ancient philosophy. People like Ibn Taymiyyah said, the one who uses philosophy, that's Ibn Taymiyyah, the teacher of Ibn Kathir. Shaykh al-Islam Ibn Taymiyyah said, the one who uses philosophy, ancient Greek philosophy, Aristotelian philosophy, he has applied logic. And the one who uses logic has become a zindiq, has become an, uh, an apostate, basically. He's not a Muslim anymore. Imagine. <laughs> so whenever you see a Muslim who uses philosophy, and specifically Sunni Muslim, tell him, uh, watch out. Watch out what your scholar said about using uh, logic. Okay. So let us play a video clip, guys. I want to play a video clip and try not to laugh, but I ask you to grab some popcorn and some Pepsi on the side because this is funny. Watch. This is weird. Why would... Where is Allah? Where is Allah? Where is Allah? Where is Allah? Where is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Where is he? Many Muslims historically have gone astray concerning this issue. A large number of Muslims, if this question was posed to them, they would give the wrong answer that goes against what the Quran established and what the Prophet brought. discuss this I've never heard this before so you thought it was strange but what's really strange is the fact that you feel strange where is Allah <laughs> this is such a foolish question they are confusing and misleading people in an issue nobody has ever understood nobody will ever understood and nobody can understand so you don't poke about it Where is Allah is an extremely important issue. This is one of the most important things in a human, in a Muslim's life. Because according to many of the scholars, many, if you have wrong understanding, you may not even belong to Islam. Where is Allah is an extremely important, foolish, important, foolish question. He is over his throne. So he's above the throne, above the heavens. He is subhanAllah Muhammad ibn Khuzaymah who is the Imam of the Imams. He said whoever denies Allah Ta'ala above his heavens, and that's how they all were, very stern. This person must be reprimanded. He must be ordered to repent. And if he does not, he immediately is executed and his corpse is thrown in the dump yard with the rest of the animals. And that's how they all were, very stern. This the word used is thummastawa, then turned. It means to turn, to turn to, to put right and to adjust or, or sort out. The istiwa of Allah, him being above, him going over. That's well known to the Arabs. You ask any Arab who knows this language, he's going to say it means to go up and to ascend. It is known what it means. To turn to, to put right and to adjust or, or sort out. It means to go up and to ascend and to adjust or, or sort out. This person must be reprimanded. But this guy <laughs> is a real troublemaker, he's a fitna. Yeah, Allah said he's on his throne six times in the Quran. He's on Rahman al Arsh Stawa. He's on his throne. God is not in the center. God is on the Arsh. He's on the throne. And he's definitely on his Arsh. We did not say that. Our parents did not say that. Who said that? The Creator Himself. He's on His throne. So He's above the throne, above the heavens. He said, "Is He sitting on it?" I said, "We don't say that because Allah didn't say about that that about Himself." And He's definitely on His arsh. We did not say that. Our parents did not say that. Who said that? The Creator Himself. Allah didn't say about that that about Himself. Who said that? The Creator Himself. And so He said, "No, brother, Allah is on the ash." But Allah doesn't say Allah is on the ash. The word used is thummastawa, then turned. 
Uh, istawa in Arabic does not mean to be sitting on. It means to turn. To turn to... Guys, do you see how they are debating each other? <laughs> do you see how they are debating each other? I mean, I don't I don't even to do this. They are debating each other about it. And they even call each other kuffar about it. Does Allah sit on his throne? Is Allah above his throne? Is Allah outside of creation? Is Allah inside of creation? It's crazy. It's crazy. To put right and to adjust or, or sort out. Allah is with you everywhere. Allah is with you wherever you are. If we have the, the utter otherness of God or unknowability of God, how then as an individual do we feel any closeness to God? If God is so exalted and so above the creation, how do we feel any intimacy with God? We have existence, dimensions, limits in terms of space and time. Allah doesn't have dimensions. There is a place where He is. Allah doesn't have dimensions. This is the thing Allah says in the Quran, Laysa kamithlihi shay. There is nothing like Allah. So if Allah is on the arsh and not here, that means Allah has dimensions. If you mean that Allah is within some of His creation, then that is batil. That is not true and that is, cannot be said about Allah. Is He everywhere? No, He is not. This is a statement that could reach a person to void his Islam. A large number of Muslims, if this question was posed to them, they would give the wrong answer that goes against what the Quran established and what the Prophet brought Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and they would say that Allah is everywhere and what they mean by that Allah is really everywhere and not explaining it Allah is here with us and so forth and so on and that's the wrong answer if God is so exalted and so above the creation he is over his throne how do we feel any intimacy with God this statement is blasphemy to say that Allah Azza is everywhere as for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Lord of all the worlds, there is a place where He is, and that place is not in this dunya. He is the Lord in the heavens and in the earth. He's not in this dunya. He is the Lord in the heavens and in the earth. Allah is there? How are, are you crazy? And in the earth. And that's the wrong answer. Arsh is on top of the seventh heaven. If Allah is on the seventh heaven on top of the Arsh, only so there's a big gap between us and Allah Allah is with you everywhere that is not true that's the wrong answer they have no clue I mean I mean <laughs> I you know guys this is just too much I don't know man this is just too much this is too much they don't agree <laughs> <laughs> Where is Allah? Is he without a place? Is he limited to his throne? Is he outside of creation? Is he with us? Is he not with us? And they even, like I said, they will even call each other kuffar about it, guys. I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding you. But there are more problems. Did you know that Allah looks like this? Allah is what, Rob? Can you be more specific? Allah is tired. What? Yes, you heard it correctly. Allah is tired. No, 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 no. You can be, you can be, you can be, you can be, you can be honest about it, Rob. Yes, that's not me saying it. Look, let me prove it. That's Allah. <clears throat> Allah is tired. Allah sometimes need to take a nap. Sometimes Allah needs to take a nap because Allah is tired. Allah is, you know, was working hard and he needs to... <clears throat> Look, and here's my proof. In Majmu' Fatawa by Shaykh, the Athari Salafi Shaykh, Hanbali Shaykh, Ibn Uthaymeen. Volume 1, look what it says on the screen. Volume 1, it says... 
on page 174. Let me give you the link. Give me a second here. Here is the link. If you want to collect it, bookmark it, save it, whatever you need to do, here is the link. And let me drop it also on Discord. Allah is tired. <clears throat> let me prove it now. That Allah is tired. Okay. Look. On page. On page 174. Page 174 we can read. There is a question. Question 50, uh, 80, 85. 85 here. Question is. Ya respected Sheikh. So who is being asked? Who's being asked, guys? Uh, Ibn Uthaymeen. Okay. He's ask, answering questions. Okay. Ibn Uthaymeen, very, very, very respected Salafi scholar. Okay. The question is question in the green is the question and in the yellow is the answer. Question. Ya respected Sheikh. Oh, respected Sheikh Ibn Uthaymeen. Should we say that Allah, maybe He glorified and exalted, has the attribute of tiredness? tiredness so that's the question let me for for you to bookmark it and save the question on the page so you can get the idea what's being asked okay yeah sheikh ibn uthaymeen the question question respected sheikh should we say that allah may he be glorified and exalted has the attribute of tiredness can allah be tired can allah be tired yeah yeah sheikh can Allah be tired? Can Allah be tired? The answer is from the Sheikh in the yellow. Jawab, answer. In the hadith of the Prophet, Ibn Uthaymeen explains, in the hadith of the Prophet, it is said, Verily, Allah does not get tired until you get tired. Again, verily, so the answer is, Verily, Allah does not get tired until you get tired. Some scholars say that this is the evidence that Allah has the attribute of tiredness. Allah has the attribute of tiredness. Imagine that one of the attributes, one of the sifat of Allah is being tired. This is not me saying it. This is Shaykh al uthaymeen saying it. Okay? Allah's attribute is being tired. Imagine, one of the attributes of Allah is being tired. Imagine! And they attack us and they say, you know, you Christians worship a man who uh, died in the flesh, he died on the cross, yet Allah is tired. They worship a tired God. Did you catch it? So my question is, why Christians don't use this against them when they say, you Christians, you worship a limited God? We know that our God is not limited because he can give his life and he can uh, <clears throat> resurrect by himself. Tom 2, I, have, you, have you been sleeping under the black stone, brother? I literally dropped the link moments ago, man. This is, what I, what I, this is the problem with my uh, dear brothers and sisters in Christianity. You guys are not focusing. Again, let me drop the link. Here's the link again on the page. 